Okay, now we're recording. Yay. So hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, Hi. welcome. <laughs> hello, this hello, hello. is Holistically Tiffany and my beautiful Sierra co-host, Janelle. Sierra Janelle. How you doing today, mama? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm tired. I'm tired. Today mm-hmm. was like one of those days. I am exhausted. Yeah. <sighs> Same. Yes. Same. <laughs> I um I had a couple of like meetings because um I told mm-hmm. you about but I didn't tell like the internet sphere but I'm going to be working um again with the hospital that I mm-hmm. that did my gastric bypass surgery. So um I'll be like speaking with them next month and then there's like a conference yes. in October. So I'm like super excited about that. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to think that's pretty much all that like has changed since we last talked last week. Yeah. You know, my life is yeah. pretty anticlimactic. Like nothing cool ever really <laughs> happens to me. Mambo, so I think your life is pretty fabulous. It uh, makes me thank my you, life. Boo. It's just like, you know. Uh, no, no, just, you know what it is. How I describe I'm, it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I always like he would does would always say this, like, you know, people he he will always say this like people are in your life for different reasons and different seasons Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. I never really understood what that meant until like recently um like the last few months even just like kind of like knowing because I was always the type of person where like if I did like have a disagreement with somebody or falling out or whatever Mm -hmm. like it would literally I'd like obsess about it and just Right. And so now, like, I've learned that, you know what, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Like, at the end of the day, everybody's still going to live life. Hopefully, everybody's still going to be happy. And so, like, knowing what that means, like, initially, it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, I take Mm -hmm. heed to that. (laughs) Same for me. I would obsess about it, too. I would have, like, anxiety about it and think about it and like you know those intrusive thoughts like oh my god what if I run into them at Walmart like yeah 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 like just obsess over it when like you said it's okay and I agree with this man people do come into your life for a season and for a reason and sometimes we have to know yeah yeah. You know what? You cut out a little bit. Can can you repeat that Uh-oh. last part? Um, I said I do agree with Desmond when he said people come into your life for a season and for, you know, a reason. And sometimes yeah. we just need to learn how to let people go. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 But and I do want to double back on. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I just wanted to double back on. Mm-hmm you you know presenting at the hospital and just want to say that is a big thing and I'm just so extremely proud of you so Thank proud you. of you like you're being so cry. modest about it but I'm like I'm, girl like that's what I'm like so, I, I feel like you're not <laughs> because you know what that is I'm not amazing. gonna lie Thank you so much. So, like, mm-hmm. I am getting emotional, like, because, yeah, you know, like, I always had, like, this really strong desire to, like, help people. Mm-hmm. And honestly, like, I feel like if, you know, my story yes. can inspire somebody, like, maybe not even necessarily get the surgery, but if it inspires you to, like, get healthy mm-hmm. or, you know, move your body, clean your exactly. diet, like, I just want to be like a beacon for people. You know what I mean? And yeah, yeah, it's a passion of mine. Like, (laughs) so no, thank you you so much. You already are a beacon because you inspire me, you you. know? Yeah. And watching you succeed. And I'm like, you know what? I can do it. If Tiffany did it, I can do it. And you have been helping me along my journey and keeping me focused, you know? And even on days where I feel discouraged or I feel like, Am I doing this right? Is it supposed to be ha- like you know <laughs> happening with my body and stuff? I can yes. always count on you. 
You know what? You know, like, I'm not going to lie. You know, you're fine. Mm-hmm. I often feel like, like, am I doing too much? Because like you would, you would text me, you'll be like, girl, like I feel this way about like food or I feel this mm-hmm. way about weight. And I'm sending you like, just like yeah, no. speaking life into you. Like, Mm-mm, nope, we're not doing it. Yeah. No, you're not doing too much. I'll be needing. I'll be like, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's all yeah. I'm going to say. Well, thank you so much because I need yeah. that. Because if you just sent a little sentence. It's like, yeah, you know, too much work. Yeah. No, nah, don't worry about it. Then I'd be like, <sighs> like, right. Like you want to be able to connect. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. honey. I'm like the queen so of overthinking. You. Oh, you're so welcome. Me too. And I just want to add to like, you inspire me so much. Like when I was telling you the other day that you mm-hmm. just inspire me yeah. like as a mom and like watching you with the boys and just seeing Aww. like how like especially oh my god okay ah! oh, it's <laughs> just like one of those days because i had girl <laughs> oh my god it's like i am just yeah. in the field honey yeah. but what i was gonna say like like watching mm-hmm. you like interact with like nemo and elijah oh thank you Tiffany. it's just like i hope that when my kids get older when dj and kai mm-hmm. and Macaulay get older that i'll be able to have that rapport with them it's very touching oh to absolutely so I yeah, just want to share that I, with you. Thank you. I You're really welcome, appreciate girl. it. And I do believe <laughs> from the bottom of my heart, with all sincerity, you will. You will. Thank and you, you have it now with them, you know. I know, like, yeah. we were talking the other day and I was like, you know, this is just a phase, you know. Yeah. It's not going to last long. Because, you know, yeah. when, they, when they're growing up and they're little, it's like, oh, my God, you driving me crazy. Yes. But it don't yeah. last long. It's they go yeah oh and I can't tell phases. you how many times I text you like girl like I cannot mm-hmm. handle them like mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. always like same kind of <laughs> yes same here. you know what I'm it's always so important. yes mm-hmm. and I was just gonna um say it's like so important to like have that mom support because like it's one thing like you know you go to your husband you're like oh but, like I'm feeling this I'm feeling that but like they don't really right. understand. They don't understand. Right. They're men, you know, at the end mm-hmm. of the day, they think differently. They feel differently. They move differently. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. always so nice to have like that sister. And I, <laughs> dang it. Oh my God. <laughs> but I meant what I said Aww. when I told you that, like, thank you for teaching me how to be a real friend. Because before, like the only people that I had in my life were people who never like Mm -hmm. really cared about me and it wasn't until like we started getting really because we were always close but we started getting Mm -hmm. mad close and you just kind of like taught me how like I feel safe with you if I don't like something Mm -hmm. or if I have an issue with something I can come to you and just feel so safe and I never knew what that was because like even when I was younger, like even those group of friends, like they, I realized like what I'm, what I'm starting to realize is that I'm super, super, super sensitive and Mm -hmm. I need to, and I think, I think this is important for like any woman, right? I feel like we as women, we also need to protect ourselves in toxic relationships that necessarily aren't romantic. You know what I mean? Mm. Whether it's like a friendship or a relationship with a family member, you know, or a relationship like with your boss, like if this job is stressing you out. And I I think like, because we're so does we're, 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 you know, we're, I don't even want to say design because at the end of the day, we are still women, but as black women, Mm -hmm. we don't, we're, we don't get the same grace as other women. You know what I mean? So absolutely agree. Yeah. 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 And I'm sorry. I'm like, I feel like I'm like rambling. (laughs) Mm -mm, No, you're fine. Cause we're told oftentimes to suck it up or be strong or, you know, like, or look at when we cry, like we're trying to gain sympathy Sympathy. or, you know, like, it's yes. like I'm human. I hurt. Yeah, I am hurting, yeah. and this is why. So yeah. we don't get that space and that opportunity to share that. So yeah. that can make somebody like myself, and I'm guilty of doing this, hold stuff in, and then now I have to be strong. I have to put on, like yeah. you know, a front that like like I got it all together. And when I feel like I want to break down and stuff, I gotta nope. 
you know, back up, yeah. straight head up, chin up. You know, I got to be strong. I got to be tough. I got to, you know, yeah. take one to the chin. When yep. we should have that community and that space where we can be vulnerable. We can cry and we yeah. can tell someone, hey, you hurt my feelings or this happened yeah. and not be looked at sideways and yeah. All of that, but yeah, yeah, I don't want to start rambling. But I completely agree with you, and thank you so much, Tiffany. Like I said, when you responded and you said thank you for teaching me to be a friend, I'm like, have I? Like, I think we're learning <laughs> this together. Like, you teaching me, I'm teaching you. We yeah, but like, you this know is what? Life. And this is that's like the beauty in it because I also mm -hmm. feel like like we can like grow together. You know what I mean? Like. Like with motherhood, for instance, like I remember I used to just like always thought I I was like doing it wrong or like, you know, comparing myself mm -hmm. to like the perfect moms on like Instagram and TikTok yeah, and right. Pinterest. Right. And it's like, <laughs> oh, my God, like my house is a mess. The the kids. I, OK, guess what? You're having chicken nuggets and fries today. Like, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you know something else that I do and this I'm going to take full responsibility for. I oftentimes, and tell me if, if you feel like this too, I oftentimes kind of like paint myself in an emotional corner. And what I mean by that is like, I feel like, well, I'm their mom. Like I'm his wife. Like, of course I got to basically do everything for them and don't expect anything in return. And then I get burned out. And then mm -hmm, I start mm -hmm. you know, having very, very, very trying days. And then it's like, and then, you know, with me and now learning about like my bipolar diet, oop, I went the wrong way, honey. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh my Lord Jesus! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So those of you who are listening and can't see, she's like brushing her hair, and she, she brushed brushed it the opposite way that it was laying. So it kind of it's giving toupee. <laughs> it's giving a little bit of toupee, but that's okay. We still yeah, gotta move okay. on. It's so cute. It's it's cute. <laughs> but I can't tell you how many times I have like you know, just kind of like painting myself into that corner. And then the next thing you know, mm -hmm. like I do want to be in a corner, like balled up crying because, Same. you know, it's too much. It's just too much. Oh my gosh. Yes. That was me today. I, I yeah. remember texting you like, I literally yeah. just came out the bathroom crying because yeah. I'm like, I'm just so overstimulated, so overwhelmed. Like my kids are in this phase, the Judah and Caleb, who is yeah. three and six, where they think that they have to get Wendy's and McDonald's all the time. Every day. They say no. And it's like, but I want it, but I want it, and I want it. Please, please. And it's like, stop. Like, you know, and I'm trying to explain and trying to do different options. I even one day was like, I can make some McDonald's. And, right. you know, I, I remember really that. over that well. <laughs> Kayla was like, I want the real McDonald's. <laughs> Like, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. So today they were they were we had to go to the pharmacy to yeah. pick up a prescription and it's right next to Wendy's. So they're like, mm -hmm. Wendy's, and I'm like, no. Yeah. So then yeah. it was like meltdowns and stuff, and I was already like feeling overstimulated um yeah. because of like family issues with like my uncle um birthday was yesterday and his yeah, he passed away, and then it was just like it was a lot, so I was just like I can't take it over. So I went in the bathroom and shut the door and started crying. But yeah. I don't know why or how I got there. Yeah. Just we just have those days. <laughs> yes. Where it's just emotional and you're just overstimulated. Yeah. 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 And you know what? Speaking of overstimulation, like I often would get mm -hmm. that, especially from Kai. Like it's not so much the old or the or so much DJ or Macaulay. But it's mm -hmm. like Kai. So what he does, he does this thing where like, OK, let's just say he's just being like a little too rambunctious. And you're like, OK, Kai, like you got to sit down like you just yeah. let's just sit down and have a seat. And if he like feels slighted by that or he feels like he's in trouble or, you know, if he's mm -hmm. just like that, he does this thing where he like throws his body and like, you know, he's trying to like make you touch him. And it's so yeah frustrating it is mm -hmm. so frustrating and I'm like because what he doesn't understand is by this time kid I've been dealing with you like all day right, That's right. 
And then number two is, and now you're going to pull this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, I know I do, but do you get, like, touched out? Like, you get to a yes. point where it's like, okay, yes. no more touching. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I get yes. touched out, especially with Judah, because Judah, yeah. like, how many am I at? They like to give me hugs all yeah. day throughout the day. And yeah. I'm like, I want to be like, okay, you got a three hug max. Like, three hug max, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I know because, you know, I do worry about, you know, their feelings and growing up. And I want to be more affectionate towards them uh, physically yeah. because I didn't have that growing up. Well, yeah. from certain family members you know like yeah. my grandmother and stuff so i yeah. want to be able to do that but it's like oh, i get touched out really easy i'll be like okay no more yeah. touching please stop touching yeah. so that oh, can be there. overwhelming too yeah mm -hmm. it is and you know what yeah. speaking of like um Ed, you just mentioned um like grandma liz for instance like, have you ever? Well, I was talking about my grandma Judy, but yeah, oh, my grandma yes. Liz too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, grandma it's okay. Judy. But um, oh, like okay. <laughs> Legit, just realized that's why mm -hmm. Judy's name is Judy. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's named after my grandmother. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Like, and then that's why I named Judah, Judah, even though Judah yeah. is in the Bible, yeah. it still was like, oh, still, wait, yeah. you know, I can do that. Yeah. Now, if Judy listened to this, she's going to say, didn't I tell you to tell people you named them after me? But after me. <laughs> it was like my grandmother. And then I was like, oh, you too, because you name after <laughs> your name after grandma. Right. So, you know, Oh yeah, <laughs> I love it. You know what? Can we talk about like kids' names real quick? Because mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like absolutely. when I talk about the kids' names, I feel like I always have to explain, even though nobody cares, right? But I still mm -hmm. feel like I should just I put care. it out there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank I care. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <so. laughs> but so we are big like TV movie, but well, okay. So Des will tell you before we met. He didn't really watch a lot of movies. He was like TV. And me, I didn't really watch a lot of TV. I was like mainly movies. So we come right. together and now we're watching all kinds of TV and all kinds of movies, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I was pregnant with DJ and this was, I was like eight months pregnant. And Des says, so like, this is what pisses me off too about his recollection of the story mm -hmm. is he says like, oh, that's not how it happened. Well, how it happened, bruh, because that's how I remember it. And I know I may not remember everything accurately, but I definitely remember how we chose our son's name accurately. Uh -huh. So, you know, I just yeah. want to preface with that. But I was at home. So he was work. He was at work. I'm at home. I'm on maternity leave from the law firm. And I I'm watching Roseanne. Now, this is before we realized, like, how crazy she was. But you know what? I got in me. Roseanne mm -hmm. in the heyday of the show like she was oh, that yeah, girl absolutely. she was that yeah, girl like we can yes. listen. oh real mm -hmm. quick I'm gonna tell you right now like you will absolutely hear me refer to John Goodman as my father and this is why so like after my dad passed away and you know unfortunately mm -hmm. like I did not know about my biological father at that time so you know mm -hmm. I was like really really lonely so my dad was always Dan Connor. <laughs> I feel like he helped raise hey, me. I, yeah, he was a good dad, so I'm not he mad. Was. At that. He was. He yeah. was. Oh, you remember yeah. when he was about to kill David when he caught yes. um, David <laughs> Darlene's apartment? Honey, yes, <laughs> he was so mad. It got. It yes. almost felt like I was like, oh, he mad for real. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh my god. So, now I want to binge watch Roseanne. <laughs> Oh my God, I love Roseanne. I love Roseanne. Yeah. But, you know, obviously, guys, the whole reason why she keeps coming up is because, so DJ, his name isn't Desmond Jr. I wanted a junior because I don't know why, like, I just wanted the baby, like, if we had a, a son, I just wanted the baby's name to be DJ. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to call him DJ. So when I was, like, telling Des about it, he was like, no, 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 no. And I will tell you the reason why. I don't want to put that out there, but I will tell you the reason why, and you are going to crack uh -huh, up. Yeah. But he's like, no. So He's he like, didn't no. want a, a Desmond Jr.? No, no, girl. Okay. Mm -mm. He yeah. did not want a Desmond Jr. So. <laughs> well, he sounded like me with my first. I didn't want a, yeah. um, a junior for Nia. Let's just put it. Yeah. I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I get it, girl. You know, I get it. You know, I get yeah. it, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Here I am. We don't have a name for the baby. I'm like eight months pregnant. And all of mm -hmm. a sudden, I'm like watching Roseanne. And it was, it was the episode where they were, the kids, DJ were, was doing that play with the black girl. Mm -hmm. And he didn't mm -hmm. want to kiss her. Because, um, so like, and this is another reason why I love Roseanne. Because they weren't afraid to like talk about race. Like a lot of white shows, especially in the 90s, they were either mm -hmm. like majority white where you didn't see a per like a another like person of color but also right. too they didn't really touch on race and Roseanne did and I remember this yeah. one of my favorite episodes DJ did not want to kiss the black girl because he felt like she looked different her skin looked different mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. did not want to kiss her and when I tell you Roseanne mm -hmm. went off on him <laughs> like she went <laughs> off but it was funny because when she called his name she said David Jacob Connor and I'm like oh, mm -hmm. David yeah Jacob. so immediately yeah. I like oh, there's Apple giving us the thumbs up yeah. <laughs> immediately so you thought I, it I'm, was what um, I'm sorry. I, I would have thought too that it was Dan Jr. Yeah, yes, yeah. That's what I thought. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you mm -hmm. for bringing it up. Yes, I thought it. I thought his. I the whole time I was like, oh, his name is Dan Jr. Honey, no, right. his name is David Jacob. And when I saw, like, I immediately I grab my phone. I go to the like show's Wikipedia page, and I go to the right. cast. And honey, when mm -hmm. I saw David Jacob Connor, I said, that's the baby's name. <laughs> That's the baby's name. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so different. And it's like, thank you, girl. I love it. Thank you. Thank and you know what else I do welcome. like about it? Because like everybody always assumes that he's a, a junior. Like they just always he's assume junior. he's a junior. Mm -hmm. But on this on the flip side of that, so the one thing I don't like. And I feel pretentious. And you know me, I don't ever want to like make anybody uncomfortable or anything. So like so girl they'll be like especially like um when i was first setting them up with all those therapies and stuff they're like mm -hmm. okay so tell us a little bit about david and it's like yeah you know, yeah i literally said david jacob <laughs> right 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 <laughs> but of course like right. i don't want to say anything you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i'm just like Mm -hmm. like yeah, but like yeah, you know, like yeah. David Jacob and then like right. if, you know I get that opportunity I'll just be like okay like so David Jacob DJ for sure and then that's when they're like oh 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 like and, and you yeah. know naturally it's like not a big deal but you know but really quick so I got to tell you about Kai's mm -hmm. name so you know me I love anything horror basically and yeah you do yeah I, I, I like girl <laughs> I get down with the get down right <laughs> and so one day um I was watching American Horror Story and it was cult I forget the number the well, season number. I actually do enjoy American Horror Story it's so yeah. good I, I like it is the anthology like how they take it and mm -hmm. make it an anthology instead of like the same characters like every season a continuation yes. of the story yes. Oh, different. Hey, is it me? Is it me? I gotta get my funky Daniva on. Is it me? <laughs> or, or can Evan Peters act his ass off? That's um so like in Murder House, he played um mm -hmm. uh, Tate. He was yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, but you know who I'm talking about. Every yeah, I know who you're talking time, about. I see this kid in a different and speaking of Evan Peters, that's why Kai's name is Kai because he played Kai and Colton. He was crazy mm -hmm. as hell. Yes, he I was very crazy. And because Kai yes. is crazy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but he was oh, oh my Kai gosh. Was he was he was insane. <laughs> and you are yes. like, he can act like it's just like some he is just a gift. He was just born it is. to do this. It really it's like is. It's amazing. He's amazing. Like he his is. talent is amazing. Yeah. Like bar none. And I really mm -hmm. hope like he does get his dues because like, you know, I'm not really caught up in the celebrity. You know me. I'm I'm mm -hmm. so chill. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just like, oh, okay. Like I love Beyonce, but that's be you know what I'm lying. If she walked in front of me, I'd be like, Beyonce. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just love her so much. Yes, I yes, me too. Her. Me too. But like for the most part, like I don't really mm -hmm. get caught up in like the whole celebrity thing, but I absolutely hope Evan Peters gets his due because like unlike 
Leonardo DiCaprio, who just got his first Oscar, I think in 2015 for The Revenant. And that's ridiculous. It is because look at this guy's body of work. He's done some amazing work, and but amazing he was always snubbed. Work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope he get his dues too. He's a me very too. good actor, and I think I had a crush on him for a little bit of time. You like, know I don't me. Know. I'm not going to lie because you know how like I just love like I hate to say that I love tragedy, but I kind of just love mm -hmm. tragedy. And I love like mm -hmm. and I think because like, you know, um, and like I still have the residuals. So when I say like things I overcome, it's not like I'm not dealing with them to this day. I don't mean anything. Like right. That. Same. But, like yeah. I have been through some very, very, very dark times. And mm -hmm. like, honestly, just to be completely honest, and I, I, this is another reason why I wanted to be open about this, because again, if it helps someone, but like, I really mm -hmm. shouldn't be here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whether by circumstances out of my control or to be transparent, mm -hmm. circumstances that were in my mm -hmm. control. Um, and mm -hmm. I do... Um, God, I'm trying not to cry, <laughs> but I am proud of myself that I'm not there because being there yes. in that space is so scary and you My feel gosh, so yes. alone, you know, you so, feel so alone. Scary. Yeah. So I can definitely agree with you and resonate with you because I have been in a dark space before yeah. and I have had those ideations before and have been in situations where I was could have been you know yeah i'm um, no longer not on my accord but just like my environment yeah. and stuff absolutely I think, um you remember like i was in the wrong place wrong time just driving minding my business yes. and a straight bullet yes. you know came into yes. my car and like grazed my leg thank god you know yes. um yes. that was it but so i get it you know and i yeah. i can when you when you look like that like i feel it in my heart yeah because you yeah, know there were times where I was feeling alone and isolated. I remember one specific incident where I was in the tub and I was just feeling so dark and low. And my ex-husband at the time like knocks on the door and he's like, you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. But yeah. I was having some, you know, some thoughts. Some thoughts. And yeah. he was like, I don't know. He came, he sat on the toilet and I was like, I said I was fine. And he was like, I don't know. I just felt like God was telling me to come and sit and talk. He to didn't want to. Okay yeah. He didn't want to leave. Yeah. Me. And I didn't mention it. I didn't give any like, you know. Yeah. I, I didn't give any clues that I was like having those thoughts or anything. So that just kind of made me like, oh, then I instantly feel guilty. I was like, oh, wow, you know. Yeah. But yeah. so I don't want to like, you know, go down this rabbit hole of this. Yeah, but no, I, I know. <laughs> We're all normal. Yeah. It's okay not to be okay. And it's okay to seek help. And I, I thank God that we're not there that. now. Yeah. Let me tell you something, honey. When you said, mm -hmm. I, I, it's okay to not be okay. And yeah. Yeah. I feel like if we think that like we think we're weak or we're like whatever mm -hmm. but it, it you're right it, it is okay to not be okay mm -hmm. and i just feel like you know if more like women knew that then you know what i'm saying yeah. like yeah yeah I agree. yeah i agree and we don't teach that enough in our communities no, we and don't it's because like it's it's looked at as like weak like yes. your weakness, yeah. you know, you're weak. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, I ain't telling all the white people my business. Yep. They think I'm yep. crazy. Oh, girl, it's that like, was what? one that I grew yes. up hearing. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes, me too. Like, oh, you gonna go I'm to the about shrink. That like, shit. <laughs> like, yes. Like, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. And yeah. I am proud to say I have become one of them people that be like, well, my therapist said. Well, yes, my therapist. <laughs> yes, I will pull the therapist card in a in yes. a heartbeat. Well, my therapist said yes. I should protect my peace, and I need to practice yes. that by doing X, Y, and Z. Yes, and, and I have to use her to yeah. get me out of situations. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, no! Yeah. I love that mm -hmm. because I'm mm -hmm. gonna tell you now, like. Be like being in the community and having people. Mm -hmm. So like we grow up here and like, why do you want to go talk to them? You don't exactly. be uh, like you said. Don't be telling them white people our Ooh. business. We keep uh -huh. our dirty laundry in this house. Yes, 
Mm-hmm. And it's like, that is why there's so much trauma and pain to this exactly. day when it's exactly. happening with our children, because until we realize like, Hey, it's okay to seek professional mm-hmm. help because like, honestly, like, even though, even though before DJ's diagnosis, I, I, because I had already been like regularly seeing like my therapist at the time I had like mm-hmm. my first one who moved away. And then it took me a minute mm-hmm. to find the one that I'm with now, but girl, like, even with him, because, you know, I kind of have to like tell myself like, okay, like he does have therapy today. Yes, I'm tired, but this is for mm-hmm. his betterment, you know, right, because right. they're the yeah. professionals. Like, I don't know everything and I'm not going to pretend like I do. And I feel like that's another reason why I, I'm so happy to like kind of like have the little resource community or whatever that I have it and this is because like I I didn't I know nothing about autism or initially I knew nothing and I'm still Mm -hmm. learning it's still so new and even when he gets Mm -hmm. fixated on things he gets in his mode sometimes I have to consciously remember his diagnosis Mm -hmm. because I'm so used to right and I'm so just screaming and yelling, you know, and I have to like remember, mm-hmm. and it's not just him, it kind of trickles down to the other two, too. Well, it, not kind of, it does, mm-hmm. you know, just kind of changing yeah. like the way that we parent and the way that we like approach things. Now, that is not to say that they can't get the business because they can still get the business, right? But you know, <laughs> I gotta be mine, right? <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, yeah, <laughs> I agree. And I want to just touch on what you said. Like, it's not just him and trigger down to the other kids. Um, yeah. So what I have noticed within my household, because I will oftentimes when Nehemiah, I would say, you know, just got my face or just lean alone, you know, yeah. like be very dismissive whenever yeah. he becomes yeah. like he obsess over something or he's why, why, why. But but yeah. but and I'm like, you know, what, just lean alone. Then I noticed. Judah was doing it. Oh, Nehemiah, just get on my face. Go sit down. Like, and you would think just listening that he was the older brother. So right, I was like, yep. Judah, stop talking to him like that. And then I, you know, I was able to sit back and say, Oh, he's getting that from me because that's what I yeah. do, you know. So that's very important to know that, like what you said, like it trickles down to the other kids. They're watching, you know, they, they are mimic watching. behaviors that they see. So, yes. Yeah. And you want to know mm-hmm. something like I am proud of you. And I have to like say this because, mm-hmm. you know, the fact that you were able to like realize that like about yourself, because mm-hmm. I do feel like a lot of times, like, I feel like maybe the, um, what we think about not so much what we think about ourselves but maybe even like the um impression that we have of ourselves yeah is you know you know what i'm saying it's like yeah you were able to see the flaw in mm-hmm. what you were doing simply by what judah said and right a yeah. lot of times like a lot of people don't have that and that's a mm-hmm. lesson like i'm still learning because i know Me like too. i still have a lot of things that I need to like work through and like get stronger at and and that's another thing too like because I do think a lot of times black people when we do go to therapy and we Mm -hmm. start going to therapy because I've done this before we'll be like we start to feel better because after a few weeks you know if you get a good therapist you're gonna start to feel better you know what I mean you may start you may start off feeling real shitty because they're making you like you know come from like traumas and and crying every session yes Yes, yeah. but then there's that, that that honeymoon stage where you start to feel mm-hmm. better. And if you're anything like me, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I don't need this anymore. I'm great. I'm fine. Mm-hmm. It's cured. <laughs> <laughs> what I learned is that I think me being in therapy, honestly, I feel like I'll probably be in therapy for the rest of my life. Or at you least until what? I can, I like, not way. understand anymore. Yeah. yeah. I kind of yeah. feel the same way. Even though the goal is to never come back one day and to right. be able to, right. you know, use the tools that you learn to live right. productively and all of that. I'd be yeah. like, girl, but I need you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Like after I had Jaden, or yeah, yeah Jaden, because I've been in therapy for this October would be three years, and I can't believe it's been three years. So yes. after I had, yeah, that is beautiful, after Queen. I, had, I love it, thank you, girl. You're it was welcome. after I had Jaden, yeah, and I went on my maternity leave, and she was like, "Oh, you know, just you know, I'll see you in six weeks or whatever." Yeah. 
And after like the second week, I texted her. I was like, um, we gonna need a session because <laughs> so what? Like, what I'm am I supposed to do? Some things right now. Yes, yeah. I need somebody. I need answers. So mm-hmm. I just feel like, oh, I know I hear you. That sounds yeah. good, but I think I'm need to talk to you until like right. Whatever. Like you know, like <laughs> listen, and until future notice, like we can't really put mm-hmm. an expiration date on this because I yeah. need you. And, you and then like, mm-hmm. oh, go ahead, boo, go ahead. No, just real quick. And then like she'll yeah. ask me a question, and then like about my childhood or about something, or why why do you think you do that or something? Yeah. And then I have to reflect and think, and I may give an answer then. But then, like, within the span of our two weeks of not seeing each other, I done came up with yeah. five more answers. So it's like, how can I stop talking to you when I'm constantly doing some self-reflecting? And I want to share it with you because I want you to be like, look at my discovery. Like, that. Yes. I know this now. I know the reason why yes. now, you know. So, yeah. yeah. So what were you yeah. going to say? I was, I forgot, but that's okay. Cause we know. I'm sorry, like, I'm going to let you go first. Cause I know, no, 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 no. I knew it, the back of my mind. I was like, just let her go. <laughs> so y'all, um, just to let y'all know, if you, if you haven't known, um, I have been diagnosed with, um, ADHD. I was diagnosed at the age of 41. I'll be 42 mm-hmm. this year. So, you know, I'm still, and I, like, I always thought like there was something wrong with me because so I'm the type of person, like, I always, like, go inward. I, I'm always trying to, like, you know, like, take the blame or I'm always trying to, like, um, you know, like, take responsibility mm-hmm. probably when I shouldn't. But that's just mm-hmm. me. Like, I, I'm like that too. I'm yeah, like girl. That too. And I know, like, I know, but, like, mm-hmm. ugh, I, I can't help it. But, like, oh, crap, I forgot. I was talking about ADHD. I was talking yeah. about ADHD. What was I? I forgot. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry, y'all. No, you're fine. But just to touch on that, taking the blame. <laughs> taking the blame. I am like that too. And it will be a situation where I am completely justified in my feelings and yeah. they're valid. And I, yeah. I have a right to be angry or I have a right to be um, like disappointed. And yeah. then I'll find the smallest thing and say, but maybe yep. I shouldn't have said this yes. or maybe if I did this and yeah, and I do it and I don't know that I do it until somebody else like you've called me out on it before or yeah. like my therapist or somebody's like, what are you doing? No, no, stop because that's yeah. not your fault. <laughs> you know, yeah. so I have yeah. that tendency a lot too in a lot yeah. of situations. You know what I think? Yeah. I think also too, like, it look at the way like we were raised like we were Mm -hmm. kind of like think about it like responsible for like the younger siblings and then Mm -hmm. because it was like my little sister and then brian and yeah Yeah. it was like i i feel like where we were like in the placement and then let's just face it like i also feel like well suge what i respect and love the most about suge is because you like you could just tell she loved her kids you know what I mean Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. there was never like a separation between you like for her Mm -hmm. love and I feel like with my mom I feel like she I don't know if she knew I can't I can't put anything on her I I don't know if she knew Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. I always felt a divide in her love Mm -hmm. for me and Brian you know what I mean yeah and I and I'm surprised I'm not crying by this, but I also think it's too because when I realized this, I think that is when I was able to move forward with my relationship yeah. with my mom. Yeah. But like my mom like would always make me feel like I was never good enough. So I would always approach mm-hmm. her under the vein of like, I'm sorry. Like that was like the first mm-hmm. thing. Whether I did anything or not, it was like, I'm sorry. It was my fault because mm-hmm. I just wanted her to like. Like I felt mm-hmm. like she didn't like me. And I just wanted her to like me, you know. Yeah. And so, um, oh, sorry, it's getting <sighs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's terrible. Want- I'm just like thinking of little Tiffany, and I'm just like, oh, yeah. I want to kick your mom in the butt. I but, know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Des yeah. feels the same way. He's like, man, mm-hmm. he's like, man. If I knew your mom back then, because it's like, <laughs> it's almost like she 
it's almost like she, um, and I think it has something to do with my dad because you know what, let's just get all the way real. Like, yeah, I, I want to be able that. to be so transparent, you know? So I'm just going to give a little backstory. Yeah. So my biological father, um, I was like the result of a situation between my mother and my biological father. Um, my brother was already born mm -hmm. with my dad who raised me and, Basically, when she got pregnant with me, my biological father was like, eh, don't want that. You know what I mean? Right. And so right. she kind of had no choice. In relationships. They were, yep, they were both in relationships and they were both mm -hmm. just doing what they should not have been doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so then mm -hmm. here comes me. So then, like, I guess, you know, maybe being scared alone, I'm not really sure because she hasn't really talked to me about this, but she, um, went to my father who raised me and he basically was like, oh, well, I guess we're having another baby. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. ooh. so, and, and I'm going to hold this back, but um, I kind of harbor um, some jealousy, not jealousy. I'm sorry, not jealousy, um, some guilt, guilt. I meant to say guilt because, mm -hmm. you know, my biological father is in my life and he's great and I love him. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes, mm -hmm. like, what I'll do is I'll pull back for weeks and weeks where my sisters, and my brothers on his side, they're calling, texting, you know, hey, Tiff, mm -hmm. like, we're having this, come to dad's that. And sometimes it is so hard for me because um, I think it's like unresolved things. Yeah. Like, I just want to sit down with my dad and just thank him because, honey, when I tell you, I had no right. idea that this one wasn't my father. Oh, honey. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, I believe like, you. You're so, right. Yeah. I believe you. So do you do you feel like you're like cheating on him? Like yeah. cheating yeah. on your the guy, the, oh, I'm sorry, not the guy, your father that raised you. Yeah. yeah. For yep. your bio father. It feels kind of yep. like, you know. I do. I think I do. I now I I never got to meet him or anything, but he sounds yeah. sounds like a very stand up guy, and I can feel the love that you have yeah. for him every time you talk about him. Yeah. And I feel like he would he probably would be standing there like, yeah, let me check check this out. But but I feel like he would be proud of you and how you do embrace and you know your your family now with them and how you accept them now essentially because yeah. that's how it started it came from him you got that from him too i got that from he him. accepted you and your love and he embodied all of you i'm sorry he yeah. embodied you know and he was like well if i got a baby girl you know yeah. so yeah, yeah i don't want you to feel guilty and i i, I do believe that his spirit is is happy that you're you happy know I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm going to just be completely honest with you because you know, like, um, like my belief system for mm -hmm. instance, yeah. but still holding on to like my, um, Christian upbringing and stuff. Mm -hmm. I still hold, like, I like to, whether I believe it's true or not, it comforts me to know or to feel or to believe that my dad is still watching over me. So yeah, every same. year, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So I told mm -hmm. you about the thing that we do for him. Every year, July yeah. 2nd, we mm -hmm. have a party <laughs> for Papa Frank. And mm -hmm. it's so crazy because, you know, I always used to say, like, man, like, you know, I would have loved if he met Des. I would have loved if he met the kids. Right. But then one day, Des was like, baby, he know us. It's yeah. Good. He knows us. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, he do. Yeah. I believe that wholeheartedly, yeah. wholeheartedly. I don't think I would be able to make it through life without even believing that because I believe yeah. that my grandmother, my brother, my mom, they yeah. all watch over us. Yeah. I believe that, you know, and yeah, so I don't want to get too deep in that. Yeah, I was know. gonna say I don't want to <laughs> get too deep because I don't want to yeah. make anybody upset, but we've had so many conversations mm -hmm. about this and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One day, you know, we can get deep like that, but y'all, y'all gotta get the nose first. Though. Yeah, I, I, I feel like this scare y'all. I, mean, I was just about to say, I don't want them running from us. Like, uh, uh, them have us crazy. Like, no, like be our friend. Like, I promise, we are so cool. Like, be right. our friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> sit at our table. You're more than right. Welcome. Like we're not the mean girls. Like we're not gonna be like you can't sit with us. We're gonna be like, oh my god, right. come, 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 come. Yes, exactly, exactly. That's perfect. <laughs> That's, what That's how I've always been. I'm like, I was mm -hmm. always the kid that like, if I saw like the kid like alone, I'm I'm the one that's like, hey, you do you want to be friends? Or, or don't let me see a pretty girl. Like for you, like when we first met, I was like, oh, she's so pretty. You have to be my friend. Mm -hmm. You have to <laughs> yeah. be like, well, I'm the sorry, same way. I'm like, oh my God, you're so cute. I just, um, <laughs> I was in Chipotle the other day. Yeah. And I was like in line and the, the lady in front of me, she was just you know, like, First of all, before I tell the story, well, let me tell the story first. <laughs> she spoke and I was looking down at my phone and I immediately looked up because her voice alone was so yeah. angelic and it was yeah. so cute. And she had a little accent, like a little country yeah. accent. And I looked up and I said, oh my gosh. I said, excuse me. And she turned around. I was like, your accent is beautiful. I was yeah. like, oh my gosh. And it matches you so well. You're so beautiful. And she just turned beat red. She's like, oh, yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> She was like, I hear that a lot up here. And I was like, yes. I was like, I, I wasn't expecting it. So right. I'm quick to, especially women, I'm quick to yeah. give compliments and be like, hey, girl, hey. You know, oh like, and I know yes. that people think like, I've been told like I got to rest in, you know, be face and all yeah. that. Or yeah. I come off mean and stuff. But a lot of times I'm just thinking and I'm not thinking about yeah. people around me or anything. I'm in my own head. Yep. Absolutely. But I do want to say this quick story about your Oh, yes. It Tell just us the story. <laughs> I'm in line. So those of you who don't know, I did have VSG surgery. So um, bariatric surgery five months Tell ago. Tell them how much you lost so, oh, so far, girl. Oh, yeah, okay. It's been 62 pounds so far, yeah. <laughs> That's my so I'm That's best friend. Go best friend. Go best friend. <laughs> I'm in Chipotle and I'm not in the line initially for me. I was getting Keelan in the yeah. bowl. And then, like, you know, you smell the food and stuff. So I'm like, oh, then you're like, oh, I'm oh, hungry. You get a little, yeah. Now I'm just give it to Elijah. So yeah. I get up there and I'm like, white rice in this bowl, brown rice in my bowl. <laughs> So I look down, there's white and brown rice mixed in the brown rice. So I'm like, I can't eat that. Like, right. So she puts right. it in a bowl and I'm like, I'm sorry. Um, do you have brown rice in the back? Because I can't eat that. It was a lot. Like if it was a couple yeah. of pieces, I would have been like, yeah, whatever. It was a yeah, lot. Yeah. And she goes, but it's the same rice. And I'm like, huh? So I was like, maybe she didn't understand what I said. I said, yeah. well, I don't want that. Can I please get brown rice only? And she goes, but it's the same rice. I mean, I'm, it's they're the same rice, and she's pointing to both of them. And I was like, well, I don't want the bowl at all. So then she like, right, like, and then she chucks it in the trash. And then I like, she scoots the bowl down. I'm like, oh. like, yeah. it's just like, it was just one of the moments where I was like, okay, I had a moment where. Yeah, where I'm like, okay, I just don't want it at all. Like, I instantly got yeah. aggravated because, yeah, you go sit here arguing with me. I said, ma'am, I cannot eat white rice, right? Like, but it's right. the same right. Like, she just didn't get it. And then the gentleman she doubled down. Goes, mm -hmm. Yeah, she did. And then he goes behind me. He comes up and goes, "Can I have half white, half brown rice?" I just was like, oh, like whatever, <laughs> right? <laughs> But like you you're trying to side I kind her. of feel like too like like in a situation like that, like I would mm -hmm. literally like even if I was mad, like I still mm -hmm. wouldn't say anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? I would have handled it exactly mm -hmm. like you. Like once I realized, like it, it's kind of almost like the girl at Duncan where I wanted like almond milk and she I don't even know what the <laughs> hell she gave me. But we're looking at each other and I'm like, and I was like, you know what? I'm not it's fine. Yeah. like it's right. like never mind like you know what I mean mm -hmm. and like sometimes yeah. I do feel like um well I just I just something just popped in my head and I'm like uh you know what so I kind of want to move on from that okay okay you know what okay. I mean yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. sorry Absolutely. I'm so sorry <laughs> you're fine yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah so I do so I do agree that sometimes some confrontations is just not worth it. 
is that yeah, kind of it's whatever. not it's yeah. whatever so yeah. yeah it's moving on miss ma'am i love your hair it's thank beautiful. you so much and so i know that remember you that video uh -huh. yes. yeah. okay so guys i have to explain this to you and you know what just for the sake of context i'm gonna show y'all for the guy for um you guys that are watching so mm -hmm. I love to play Dreamlight Valley. Well, I play right now. My 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 new obsession is Palia, but I pretty much play. I pretty much play Palia, Dreamlight Valley, my time at Porsche, uh, summertime in Mara, mm -hmm. like cozy type games. So yeah, when I yeah. um, <laughs> I so this is Dreamlight Valley, and I was like, I I text Cece. I'm like Cece, I want this hair color. <laughs> Or I want this right, haircut. Yes. But how yes. cute is this? So it's, like a pixie, it's like a little pixie cut on the yes. sides and then like the yes. long hair at the top. It's yes. really, really cute. It's, it's really so cute. cute. And I was like, oh, I need the hairstyle in my <laughs> life. Like yeah. every time I see it, I get like so excited and so pumped. I'm like, oh my gosh. So what I mm -hmm. did today was I, I put my, I got myself a little stage pony tea. And look at my little pony tea. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, just a little bit of hang time. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, mine's like, just the I'm, same under this wig. <laughs> Listen, girl, but you want to know something? Okay, like, since we, I know, like, we're kind of bouncing every, but you, since you brought up VSG, mm -hmm. honey, so I, if, in case you guys don't know, I'm also a bariatric patient. I, um, mm -hmm. like, a few days ago, it was two years post-op gastric bypass, and one of the main things that happened, and I, I feel like the UVSG mm -hmm. girlies, I feel like, I feel like y'all still have it, but I also feel like it's What's not the same. Hand? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My yes. hair did shit, and I kind of prepared for it because I did a lot of yeah. research, and they were saying, "Oh, prepare to like after three months, your hair is going to shit." Yeah. Well, I had just had a baby who was wasn't even one yet That's when I decided right. to have the yeah. surgery. That's so right. my hair so was already shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and I had my my locks in. So yeah. I was like, I'm just going to cut my locks off to prepare. Ooh, girl, and I'll grow my hair back out about... and get them back. Listen, girl, I don't mean to cut you off, mm -hmm. but can we just no, can we give a shout out to pre-lock CC hair, honey? Yeah. How you were sitting <laughs> on it, how it literally came past your booty quick. Yeah. <laughs> can we talk about that? Yeah, I, mean, I just want to talk about good. that. Uh -huh. Your hair yeah. got so long. I was like, oh, look at my mm -hmm. six. I know, yeah, it was. It didn't get really it long. Was. I was even shocked when I was like, okay, I'm going to get a silk press and I was like Ooh. Yeah, I remember <laughs> you sent me the video I was like mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really long I said okay shrink it yes. for you but then right. like when before I got my locks when I was searching for locticians to yeah. do my locks they were charging they were like oh your hair is so long we need to charge it 300 or 400 yeah. somebody even said 600 and that's why I was like okay I'm gonna do it myself. <laughs> yes, what I absolutely, up yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, in case you guys didn't know, um, Cece is a licensed cosmetologist. She does amazing work. Thank you. Okay, oh, so thank I had you. no. You're welcome, girl. I had oh. no doubt in my mind when because I remember the conversation that we had because I, I feel like. Mm -hmm. it, it was after was it like a little bit after I started my I feel like it was a little bit after like yeah because you got yeah off. it was you got you did yeah. your locks and I was like oh yeah I was thinking about it but now you really make me want to get yeah up because they, yeah. Went, they look so good on you then you colored your speak and I was like okay yeah. I'm getting locks that's it, <laughs> it was you want to so know cute. what's insane so mm -hmm. at, like I when I when I um had the surgery I, you know I was locked up they were they were pretty mature they weren't fully mature but they were pretty mature and uh -huh, I was all uh -huh. locked up girl I'm not gonna lie to you so I, I shut and this is this is what I meant by the VSG girlies yeah. I don't think y'all have it as bad because mm -hmm. I had like you could see like my head was you it like my scalp. yes 
And so like I was where like, your locks like hanging on thin so, pieces of hair. No, let me tell okay. you, I refuse, honey. So I cut them before because I so started noticing yeah. the base of my locks. I started noticing, especially at the crown, I started mm-hmm. noticing like the base of those locks were starting to thin. So right. I, yeah. I didn't want to do it. I wanted to hold on to them so bad. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I also didn't yeah. want to see them like go through such a terrible transition because, you know, um, for us, it, you know, like, I mean, and I know everybody doesn't do locks for like, you know, spiritual reasons. But for me, it kind of was like a spiritual right. journey because I had to trust my mm-hmm. hair to do what it did on its own, you know? Yes. And so like, mm-hmm. it was just, it was like a, an awakening for me. And I'm not going to lie to you, even before having the surgery, I felt so beautiful with those locks. I felt yes. so beautiful. And yes, honestly, and the only reason, thank you so much, girl. And so were you. Mm-hmm. I remember, oh, honey, do you remember, do you remember, um, it was for Shook's funeral and you mm. called me and you're like, Tiff, oh, yeah. I want to do purple for my mom's funeral mm-hmm. because that was her favorite yeah. color. And what did I say? Yeah. I said, say less. Yeah, and I'm going to be yeah. over there. I sure <laughs> did. I packed up the entire family. Mm-hmm. And we all came over there and I was like, oh yeah, I got you. Yeah. You know? And I remember yeah. they were so gorgeous, so gorgeous. And then Aww, when you when you, you cut your locks, I almost hit the <laughs> floor. It almost sent me into orbit. But so many but people I was also, like, wait, what? Well, I was ready to fight mm-hmm. you, honey. Yeah. Like I thought we would just have to square up in the street like old school <laughs> days or something. Because Show I was me like, Max no! <laughs> but I also understand why you did it. I also understand mm-hmm. why you did it. And, you know, I'm, I'm always going to like support you. I don't care what you do. Yeah. I just, I just oh, feel like, you know, you. you're my, you're my same boo, here. So thank you. Boo. Yeah, thank you. Here. You know, like you're we have the type here. of relationship where it's like, you, I think I tagged <laughs> you. It was a Ben Affleck movie. I forget the movie, but he basically like walked up to Jeremy Renner and he's like, listen, I can't tell you what we're doing. I can't tell you where we're going, but we're going to mm-hmm. need some, we're going to need a car. No, he was like, I can't tell you what we're doing. I can't tell you where we're going, but a lot of people are going to get hurt. Are you down? And Jeremy Renner yeah. stopped and he's like, whose car are we taking? That's us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, there's no yeah, question. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> whose car are we taking? You got no gas because I just put my tank up. Right. <laughs> no, yeah. you know what had me cracking up laughing? Do you remember that meme where it was? I don't know the guy's name, but the guy from the office, he's like holding up the boombox mm-hmm. and they're playing back that ass up. And it was oh, like, yeah, yeah, my yeah. friend setting up for my funeral. <laughs> and I think I sent you the one where it was like uh, the request, my friends. Honoring my friend's <laughs> request to sing at her funeral. Yeah, she was oh, singing that, that crazy the song. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Girl, yes. I watched that like 20 <laughs> times. I could not stop laughing because I'm like, yes. yeah, this stuff. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. And it, I watched it so much too because I told you the story about Nehemiah singing it and didn't even realize yes. what he was singing. <laughs> yes. But you know what? That's what I love the most about my uh, sweet baby because like I'm telling yeah. you him and DJ like not only mm-hmm. do are they like super innocent but honey they'll tell you about yourself get you all the way together and not, and then mm-hmm. like you start crying because they done dog the hell out of you and they're like right what's <laughs> wrong with you like right. girl like the time like the time um DJ told me and this was one of the reasons why I decided that, it's not the only reason <laughs> but it, it helped so, oh my you know, God, like I'm getting dressed, mm-hmm. you know, you're like running around. I think I only had on like some underwear, maybe like a t-shirt. Mm-hmm. And so I didn't want him to see me. So I like ran past like the living room, you know, how like coming out of my bathroom, yeah. like to my bedroom. <laughs> so you, and you know how the kids are just always in the living room. So I was like, I'm gonna just run by like he ain't gonna see me. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, I run into the room <laughs> before I can get the door closed. He's like, ah, my, I saw your jiggly butt. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I've had similar experiences. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, kids will take you there. Oh my gosh. 
they I've had my kids say, Why mom, why are your belly so squishy while they're like squishing? I'm like, yes! me. or my arm, like just sitting oh, there, I was like, gonna say. My arm. And I'm yes. like, oh my gosh, yes. please stop. <laughs> yes. And you know how Kai yes. is like I still feel like he has some some semblance of high needs. So he'll sit and be like, with my loose skin. Mm-hmm. Look, y'all, with my mm-hmm. loose skin. Mm-hmm. My, my five-year-old be like this. Like, mom, <laughs> no, he got a raspy voice. He'd be like, mom, you're so squishy. And I'm like, okay. Oh, my God, he do have a raspy voice. <laughs> He'd be like, oh, it's cute, see, though. See, see, see. What, what about the man when the man did? And I'd be like, oh, my God. I'd be like, Cece, don't let him talk to you. He's going to talk to you today. Yeah, like, I don't know what he'd be talking about, but I just go for, I just go with the flow. I'm like, oh, wow. But, and I'll always say this, he do be hitting me with some stuff. I'd be like, huh? Bro, like, how he hitting you, know you with the knowledge sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Because like, like, sometimes I have to tell he's myself. extremely smart. Mm-hmm. He's, he is really smart, but he's also very mm-hmm. um, rambunctious we'll say mm-hmm. so sometimes oh, yeah. he will hit Same you for caleb they kind of have yes, similar personality they do yeah. and i was gonna say if you notice caleb mm-hmm. and kai they kind of have that raspy voice thing going yeah they, they do really they didn't do. think about it oh, they like God. sound alike yeah, <laughs> yeah they do yeah he does, have a raspy voice. He does because caleb would be oh, like gosh. oh mommy and that's why every time yeah. i hear him i just hear this tiny like oh mommy and it's so cute <laughs> And I'm like, oh my gosh. But yes, he has like the raspiest little voice. And mm-hmm. I love it. Mm-hmm. I absolutely yeah, love they, it. <laughs> they have a lot of similarities. That is crazy. I just noticed that he do have yes. a little raspy voice. Yes. And I noticed mm-hmm. it for the first time. It was a couple days ago. Like we were on the phone and, you know, Caleb was talking mm-hmm. in the background. And I'm like, oh, like I just heard it. It just like totally clicked. I was mm-hmm. like, oh my God. He literally sounds like Kai like they sound ex- like yeah. each other yes yeah. <laughs> I think though Caleb because um Braylon my stepson he has a raspy voice too so he I think does he yeah he like does him. like Braylon he like has a raspy voice they kind of sound like yeah. life Jennings so I'm expecting oh my gosh yeah yes mm-hmm. and okay so yeah uh, here, do you want my black card now or do you want to wait? Because the only reason why I know Life Jennings is from, is from reality TV. I knew it. Yes. I knew it. When he was in Where a relationship with Carly. <laughs> 2003 and 2004 when Life Jennings was booming. Okay. Girl. <laughs> Apparently, but I was I trying get to get my life, honey, but I, I wasn't getting it too much. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right no I get it though because he he kind of he fell off it was the one I, that one album that I know of was really really good yeah. and popular yeah. especially because he was from Ohio so you know like oh, I didn't we, know he was we go all Ohio. out for yeah Toledo we do. Yep, he's we, do. we do go all well, out know, for our like, hometown oh, Ohio you know yeah. so, so well, yeah you know so what? It was, and, and we mm-hmm. go up for the people <clears throat> Who are cool with our people from Ohio by proxy? Mm-hmm. Because sorry, my throat. Yeah. Is <clears throat> One of the main reasons why I love Kiki Wyatt is because of Avant. Mm-hmm. You know, my mm-hmm. first love. Love mm-hmm. that song, by the way. But my first love. Yes, then, yes. You know, did, like, did they do a few songs together? I feel like they did, but or was boo, it I just that one? Yeah, I, I, I want to say but they Avant had is from one more. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I it's crazy because I was actually it. thinking about him today. Yeah, he, um, it's from Cleveland and he went to yeah, the he's School of Cleveland. Arts. Yep. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. And I was thinking yep. about him today, I guess, because I was I love R and B. So um one of his songs yeah. came on and I was like, I wonder how he doing, you know, <laughs> like yeah, stuff like that with something? celebrities. Like, how are they doing? I I, mm-hmm. It's funny that about Avant because I feel like the last time, and this was like years ago, so I don't want to put this out there and like on him, but I I feel like a, a couple years ago, like somebody had posted pictures or maybe like a video. And say or he was sick or something. Yes, yeah. I've seen that but too. again, yeah. You don't know. You don't know. Like, mm-hmm. and I don't want it to, you know, right? Because. Like, so the internet can be like weird and I don't want to just mm-hmm. naturally assume like oh yeah he's sick he's sick you know but yeah right, yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, now I'm gonna look into it yeah I would say definitely look, look into, into it. it 
Yeah. And I was going to say, too, um, speaking of like being from Ohio and like loving our folks, um, there, oh, it just escaped me because when I found out that this person was from Anne Heche. Anne Heche. So she was the actress. I can't recall a movie right now, but, mm -hmm. and let me look her up because I also don't want to lie. I mean, but like, she, Anne Heche. she was the one that was, when Ellen first came out, she was Ellen's girlfriend. She was Ellen. She was in a, um, a relationship with Ellen. But randomly, I was like reading because I feel like Somebody must have posted, I think it was like on Twitter or something, somebody must have posted um, just something because, you know, she had that um, car accident and the car caught on fire. And then there was that clip when the firefighters were like um, oh, taking yeah. her to the ambulance. She like bust out of the bed. It looked real scary. But then she, you know, shortly thereafter, I think a few days or something, she passed away. But so mm -hmm. randomly, I like kind of looked her up because I was like, oh, yeah, I remember Anne Hayes. And when I saw she was from Aurora, I was like, oh, hey, neighbor. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I had no idea. I had no yes. idea. And I was like, okay, girl. <laughs> I had but no idea I mean, either. And you know what? No I didn't either. even know she passed away. That's how out of touch I am. Did. Yeah, and it was mm -hmm. it was crazy though, girl, because um so, so I know people have she was really pretty. She was very, very, mm -hmm. very pretty. Yeah, she was. Um, she kind of looked like a cat. And I I don't know, like I like girls who like I like girls that are like conventionally beautiful or when I say I like girls like women that I think are beautiful I like women that are conventionally beautiful but I also like women mm -hmm. that kind of look strange I like a yeah. strange look I just think you know it could be so gorgeous mm -hmm. and one of the ladies that Sydney Sweeney I want to say like everybody mm -hmm. online they're like oh my god she looks like an alien kind of um like uh ha Haley Bailey but I love, like, here's her picture. Oh, my gosh. She's so pretty. Isn't she pretty? She's yeah. gorgeous. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Is it? Yeah. And they said the same thing about Haley. I wonder how this doesn't make Haley. them think that. I know. You know, like, but I think also, too. Oh, like, so um, I think it's Hallie. I'm not sure. Is though. it Hallie? I know. I don't want to, like, say her name. Bailey, yes. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. how gorgeous is this little girl? So gorgeous. Oh, so, so I, oh, oh my gosh, she's so cute. So she is. I think it's yes. the, their eyes that people probably, but I, like, who cares? They're so gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful. So and I, my I, eyes are cool. are different too. So I'm like, who cares? Wait, you want to know like, something <laughs> about your eyes? Mm -hmm. They're very, very, very intense. Like. I feel like even if you're like, because sometimes like, case in point, the last time we were in dinner, we're literally sitting across from each other laughing and mm -hmm. talking. And then I just like, we kind of like made eye contact. <laughs> I'm telling you, your girl, it's like, it, I was locked in for a minute. I'm uh -huh. like, <laughs> okay, we're back. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> that's so funny. It's, it's, you're like it's very, very, very intense. It's just something they're very intense about your eyes. And I'm like, well, what? I'm just looking yeah. at it. No, it's not a bad oh, thing at all. It you. is definitely. And you want to know, know something else that I love it. about it? I don't know. No, no, <laughs> don't ever change because that's just you. And that's mm -hmm. what makes you. That's just another layer okay. of like what makes you yeah. so amazing. But another thing I love about your eyes is that you and Des Aww, have the same eye you. color. So I'm like, ooh, you got it. Because you know how like, oh, our really? eyes are, like dark brown. <laughs> you and Des have like brown mm -hmm. eyes and I think they're so pretty and then yeah, Macaulay, yeah. oh <laughs> we love Macaulay I just realized I never gave the story of you know what no oh, yeah. no no wait 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 this is what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna do guys when you if you're out there depending on where you're listening to this if you can leave a comment mm -hmm. and let me know if you know why we named our daughter Macaulay. Who was that after? So that's all I'm gonna say. <sighs> I'm, I'm only gonna say. I don't know if I should put the spelling <laughs> out there. Should I? Should I? Should I do the spelling or just let them figure it out? Yeah. Yeah. We'll just let do them the figure spelling. It out. Yeah. Do okay. The we'll do the spelling. Oh, you want oh, her name figure it out? Okay. Well, because no, I'm like, I don't know which one would be like. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> right? Like this one would be more fun. You know, I think I'm gonna just let them. I'm gonna just let them figure yeah, it out. So figure it her out. name is yeah. Macaulay. Her name is Macaulay. Mm-hmm. However, you want to spell it. You know what I mean. But <laughs> I, I just want to see if, if y'all know why her name is Macaulay. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll see you get that. Right. Especially if yeah. you were an eighties baby. I'm going to say, I'm going to say like, I feel like eighties and nineties babies, as soon as they heard her name, they thought, you know what I'm saying? They already knew like what it was. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. Like even for doctor's appointments, like the older people, oh, they're like, oh my God, it's like this. But sometimes you'll get a a young nurse and I mean, she don't give a damn. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Like girl, I don't care about you or your daughter. No, I'm just like, (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> no, I would definitely be like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Like, like how the other people be. But yeah, speaking of yeah, names yeah, yeah. and movies, you guys, my name was used in a movie as a title. And, and every so often I'll have somebody say, your name just sounds so familiar. It looks so familiar. And I'll just be like, mm, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But I know in my head, like, yeah, because you've seen it on Netflix. And I ah. like, there's a movie with my name, my full name as the title. Uh-huh. So, guys, again, in the comments, tell us what movie yeah. you think it is. Well, you should already know. You should already mm-hmm. know. But, like, tell mm-hmm. us. <laughs> yeah, tell us in the comments. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I think I need a check. I need a little coin. Because, yeah, I, I mean, how many of us is it really? <laughs> right. Exactly. Run me my money. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I point. think somebody told me, like, wow. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm I was sorry. just going to say, I was literally, I, I do think because, you know, this is like so new. Um, I do mm-hmm. think that you should mention your channel because like I, I'm telling you, the growth is exponential. Aww. Exponential. <laughs> <laughs> and we can mention your channel too. So my <laughs> YouTube channel is Sierra Janelle. Um, that's my name across all my social media platforms, but yeah. YouTube see your Janelle subscribe please thank you love you yes please subscribe (laughs) let me tell you like and I'm not just saying this because I love her and I'm not just saying this because she's my friend and honestly I'm not Mm. even just saying this because I know her or anything when I tell you guys that Cece literally has she's one of the most pure like jink like just pure and there's you never have to feel like there's an ulterior motive or you never have to doubt her. And I just Aww, love that so you, much thank about you. you. Thank you, girl. Thank you. And thank I just, you. you're welcome. You are so welcome. And honestly, like, I just mm-hmm. really encourage you guys to like watch her because she mm-hmm. is such an inspiration and just like listening to her and, you know, she's just so relatable. Mm-hmm. So yes. Yeah. Definitely check oh, out. Oh, thank you, Sierra too. Janelle. Oh, absolutely. The same girl. for you as well. Oh, check out holistically, you. Tiffany. She, you know she's she's so modest. That's why I love. <laughs> I am. I'm, I love I'm like, you, too. you know what? It's like insane. I am, and it's not like even an. I am like, mm-hmm. like okay, the cake, like with the conference and stuff. I literally like I mentioned it to you, and I'm like, oh yeah, like so he wants me to like speak at this conference, and that was like I, I it, and know. you. You were like, oh my God. And I was, I remember like listening because we were going back and forth with like our um voice mm-hmm. notes and everything. And just like like it was just so inspiring. I'm like, oh my God, yes. my CC is yes. it was, like, so great. So like I yes. just I, I just appreciate you. I just I just appreciate mm-hmm. you. Like, oh, same. You're, you're, I appreciate you too. Good friend. I good do. Friend. <laughs> I do appreciate yeah. you so much. You inspire and encourage me so much. And that's why I'm like, tell me your channel too, because you know, you talk yeah. about mental health awareness. Yes. You talk about, yeah. you know, your what you go through with your yeah. diagnosis as a grown adult with ADHD yeah. and everything, like being a stay-at-home mom and then your yoga videos. Girl, hunty. Oh, Let me tell y'all, Tiffany <laughs> body is snatched, okay? Listen. Like, she'll post a video and I'll be oh, like, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm oh like, my so gosh, I said, yes, Ab, come thank through. Thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. You thank you, girl. Amazing. And I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and you know what? Honestly, that does kind of, that does mean a lot to me because um, I do. Mm. I well, okay. I will say this. I am going because I always mm. try to be as transparent as possible. So mm -hmm. I do work out every, well, not every day, but I do work out regularly and it has nothing to do with the surgery. Well, it kind of mm. has something to do with the surgery, but it kind of doesn't. So the mm -hmm. reason why I work out so much is because once I started like losing weight and once I started like learning about nutrition and have like a scientific yeah baseline for nutrition I like started mm -hmm. to like fall in love with it and so right. when I um went back to school I'm like okay I want to get my degree and um initially it was dietetic technologies because eventually I, I would love to be a registered dietitian mm -hmm. unfortunately for me back when I was in that degree program I got pregnant with my daughter I got pregnant with Macaulay mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know it was just a lot like you know being an older mom you know, because that's a lot of another thing that we don't really, really talk about. But being mm -hmm. pregnant at 33, being pregnant at 36 and being pregnant at 39, whew, they were it just mm -hmm. progressively got worse. <laughs> mm -hmm. I you just know, realized that your older. kids are each three years apart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. Yeah. I think when you get older, our patience, you know, gets yeah. thin. Like, we, you know, you hear yeah. that through the years. And then it's like, well, kids, you got to have a lot of patience. <laughs> a lot Girl. of patience. A so, lot yeah. Patience. Yeah. Girl. And then, like, it's kind of like your energy. Like, you know, I'm only 34. But I, I don't know. I feel like I'm getting older. Like, my energy is just like, if in my 20s when my older boys... I yeah. was there. I was keeping up. But now I'm like, would y'all yeah. sit down somewhere? Like, what is it? Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. And then, like, the yeah. worst part about it, because, like, they don't care. They're like, oh, mom, mm -hmm. you're tired. We'll get your mm -hmm. old ass up and play with us. Like, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. Right. They're like, you old battle axe, you better get up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, that is so true. They don't. They're like, oh, okay. Right. Anyway, so are we still going to the park? Or come on. Right. Right. Let's or, let's... Because time's a ticking. Time's a ticking. Like, let's get out of here. Oh right. my, they don't mm -hmm. give a damn. Like, they're like, <laughs> they don't. No, you they want don't. me to get your coat or? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. They don't care. Sure. They don't. They don't. But just to all. circle back, we're going to. Just circle what they say, spin yeah. the block, just back. Spin the block. And spin the block. Okay. <laughs> talking about your channel as far as your your energy and why you started working out. Um, you said it wasn't because of the surgeries, oh, because you fell yeah. in love with the the yeah. nutritional aspect of it. I did. Yeah. I fell in love with the nutritional aspect, which then segued into mm -hmm. like the physical aspect of it. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm in school um, to be a personal trainer. I just take classes at my community yes. college. They have like a certificate program, you know, and it's like through mm -hmm. like the school they have like actual, remember I told you about our, the one doctor that was my teacher, but you want to know something. You want to know something. <laughs> Actually, I'm so glad that she held mm -hmm. me to task because I remember I like sent her message. I'm like freaking out because I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to fail this class. Mm -hmm. Like she was flaming me every assignment. She's like flaming me. OK. And I'm like, oh, my God. So mm -hmm. I was like going to quit. And I told her I was mm -hmm. like, listen, this is stressing me out. I was like, you know, I, I can't do this. And she was just pretty much like, yes, you can. Mm hmm. And she was like, and she also said, she's like, you know what? She's like, this oh. is what I want you to do. She's like, I want you to, oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Cece? Yeah, I can hear you. It cut out just okay. for a second, but I can hear you. I figured that's what happened. And yeah, I was can like, you hear me? let me just stop. Yeah, I can hear you. Yep, I got you loud and clear. But um, yeah, she was just like, you know, okay. <laughs> she's like, if you're really concerned, she's like, you do the math and just kind of see like, what you like what your grade would be so when i did the math i was like crap i have a c and then remember i told you i was like i think i'm just gonna drop this class mm -hmm. i'm like she wants too much she do too much you know right. me basically wallowing in my failure, right, right? let's just call a spade a spade it was me mm -hmm. wallowing in my failure 
And so I was like, CC, I'm going to quit. I'm going to drop it. And then I remember, I, I remember you mm-hmm. where it's like, no, like, don't do it. And then even when she said, like, even mm-hmm. actually, no, after that, I never had, I, well, I had one more conversation with her after that. But then, um, so that was just, it was only a mm-hmm. half, so, like it was eight weeks. It was only half the semester. So that class is actually over. So I ended up checking my grade today I, I checked it earlier today yeah. and why did That's i end that no, class so with great. drum roll 85 <laughs> percent spirit thing <laughs> that is amazing <laughs> which equals a b which comes out to be a b it does it equals yes. a b and i'm like I'm so you glad did I didn't drop this class. Thank you, mm-hmm. girl. I'm glad but you that, didn't. Yeah, either. Going to school to be a, ter- a personal trainer. So I want to help yes. other people get fit. And it's, honestly, and I, I do want to stress this because I think people do kind of have like a um like a preconceived notion when it comes to like working out and like mm-hmm. physical activity and everything. But you're gonna you you will start feeling the ramifications long before you see them. And I think mm-hmm. a lot of times when we start working out like because we're in the microwave age everything is instant so I just kind of feel like you want to see results now you want Mm -hmm. right now you know what I mean and I want to be able to like encourage people and just say hey like even if you get up and walk around your kitchen for five minutes that is still moving your body and you're still getting up because that's kind of like what I'm learning now. Like, yeah, of course, Mm -hmm. like, you know, we're learning the different muscle, like each exercises, what muscle groups that they, you know, I'm learning how to um, write like personalized um, exercise plans and all this stuff, which is great. And it's awesome and it's wonderful. But I also feel like, especially um, social media wise, I, I feel like there is still a disconnect when it comes to, Mm working out and physical activity and healthy because you know a lot of times people yes. think skinny is healthy yeah that's not necessarily yeah. true just like necessarily being obese is unhealthy of course unhealthy. if you have right. um, sub, sub what is it called sub mucosal fat like when you have like mm-hmm. belly basically belly fat and that's yeah. Dangerous, you know what I mean? Because it's like, oh, sorry, my voice did the silent reflex thing. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, it's around all those organs, yada yada yada. But mm-hmm. just walking around in your kitchen, um, five minutes a day, it, you start to burn the adipose fat. So you yeah. start kind of like burn Absolutely. off that. You know what I mean? That belly fat, and then your organs are happier. You know what I'm saying? So it's not right, necessarily yeah. about getting skinny. It's not necessarily about like um. You know, it, it it's honestly just about being healthy. And I, I kind of want to like Absolutely. remind people of that. Like, you know, it doesn't yes. matter where the package comes. It's just that you're doing it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep. Health yeah. is wealth. I agree. Health and thank you wealth. for that. And the more you do it, the, awesome. the more you increase your stamina, the more you like, well, I did five minutes every day this week. Yeah. Now let's do 10 minutes, you yeah. know, and then yeah. it just... It increases. It gets easier and better. But I completely agree. Like a lot of times I'm on social media and I'm watching people like work yeah. out and do exercises and stuff. And you see them looking in the mirror and stuff. And it's like, OK, can you just work out? Oh, because I just want to see how it's done correctly so I can do it right. Yes. (laughs) But it's like, are you really working out? You just want to be saying, you know, what? Oh my God. So let me tell you. Mm -hmm. There, I don't, I'll send you the link because when you see Mm -hmm. this, you're gonna be like, really, girl. But speaking Mm -hmm. of that, so (laughs) I was trying to find other like yoga channels, you know, just to kind of Mm -hmm. I don't even know why I was looking for them, but this was after I started posting my videos. And I I don't know, I think I wanted to just follow some more yoga girls and you know, just kind of like build a community. So I came across this one YouTuber channel. Number one, her thumbnail. Ma'am, <laughs> her thumbnail was basically like a thong bodysuit <laughs> with like her butt. I mean, like right up on the thumbnail. I mean, it's not me. It's not me. I'm I'm scrolling through. I said, oh, go back. So then Listen, oh girl, it gets worse. Clickbait. So my then, oh, honey. Oh, no, 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 no. It was not clickbait. <laughs> it was not clickbait because, honey, 
I, curiosity killed the cat, okay? I clicked on her because I, I said, oh, you're showing us. Let's see. So I click on her video. Yeah, right? yeah. I said, oh, oh my we goodness. can see where your babies come from. Wow. Okay, so now I'm curious. Send it to I'm going to send it to you. <laughs> I'm going to send it to you. I even showed Des. He comes in. Wow. He, like, the TV, the TV, he starts cracking up laughing. He's like, talking about thirst trapping. <laughs> Like, ma'am, oh my god, we, we know, the people ain't gonna be able to concentrate. Like, like, like mindfulness <laughs> with all that, and they think <laughs> here's the thing like, we'll experience mindfulness already, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Oh my goodness, oh, oh my goodness, that is girl, so funny, girl. Mm. I was like. Oh I was god. like, oh my god, I'm in the wrong profession. I need to take my clothes <laughs> off and then do yoga. Like, what? Oh, that's good. That is too funny. Girl, oh my gosh. Girl, I was the dying. things that people post online. Girl, she needed OnlyFans. She do, you know what? I bet you she probably does. I mean, I would. I'd be like, hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be shaking my mud flaps everywhere if somebody pay me for them. Hell yeah. <laughs> Right, I know, right? Oh my gosh, Whew. I would too. I ain't even gonna lie. If I got the coins, <laughs> listen. Because here's the thing: I said, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. Like, if if I if girl, like, if this was like ten feet, no, maybe like 15 years ago. Oh, honey, I probably <laughs> and only fans and came gonna, out. Yes, I, I was like, I, I mean, I I would probably. I, I <laughs> Listen, it might as well be a no face, no case. It'd be like, Listen, we think that's right. here, but we're not sure. We're not really sure. And then, oh my God, your face, <laughs> right? And then for the uh for the tattoos, because you know, like I have all these tattoos. I, mm -hmm. No, you do too. We get that um <laughs> that skin stuff, that derm oh. dermal dermal something where oh, yeah, you yeah. can. Like it's like for like stuff. Uh, yes. And just mm -hmm. get your skin color, match yep. it up. <laughs> what tattoos? I don't have no tattoos. <laughs> like, oh, then was this you? Oh, mm, she look. Mm, no, you think I'd be like, like, that's crazy. I'd be like, oh, like, no, that's, that's not me, but she cute. <laughs> oh, look at my yes. body. <laughs> I'd be tickled all the way to the bank, like, right, right, girl. <laughs> Got my little check. <laughs> <laughs> just life i don't know i might start me a little feet pick uh you know what? i'm not gonna lie oh so kim kim you know she has um her podcast and mm -hmm. she interviewed a foot model and i'm oh, not really? gonna lie to you this pot it was really good it was um mm -hmm. i'll see if i can um i'll just like forward it to you because yeah um, it, it's yeah please do. Months, but i'm not gonna lie it was really good now one yeah. thing i definitely do have to say about kim like she has mm -hmm. like a really professional voice so like the first time i ever um because she had sent me the link like hey like it's up and i listened to it and i was just like yeah. oh wow like this is really Aww. really really good so yeah it does but yeah. honey she was when she was talking to um her guest i forget the young lady's mm -hmm. name but when she was talking to her guest she like the stuff she was saying she was like oh my gosh she's like it does get weird because like they'll <laughs> they'll be like oh like um especially when they order pictures and, right. and I'm, I'm i don't remember exactly because like i said it's been a few months but she like basically she was like they'll be like oh like um squish your feet like your toes and like mustard and she said it has gotten so weird wow that, like, that's weird you, so. isn't that weird and she would because mm -hmm. um you know Kim basically was like you know is there anything that you wouldn't do and she legit was like yeah I'm not gonna like hurt animals I feel like she said like somebody wanted her to like step wow. on a kitten or something yes girl I that was like oh my god strange. isn't oh my that gosh. weird but that is very but, weird Super weird, but I definitely, definitely want to add this. She said mm -hmm. that she, her, it, her, um, but pick her business or her career is so lucrative. Not only does she not work outside the house anymore, but also her husband was able to retire. Wow. And he, 
I feel of like he kind of like, because of her, yeah, because of a fetish. And I feel like he, I feel like he does like something behind the scenes, like a little bit, mm. but basically she was able to like retire her husband. And I'm like, I want that for me. I, I know, me. me too. You know, me too. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That reminded me. <laughs> I dated someone when I was yeah. a teenager who had a foot fetish and yeah. I've always been insecure. I actually posted this on my Instagram story um, yeah. yesterday. I've always been insecure about my feet because, you know, you ever seen Shallow How Needs a Gal or is that yes. the, the movie? Yeah. Is it the one with Jack Black? Shallow How? Yes. Yes. And so, you Paltrow, know, yes. the friend who like. Uh, dodging the girl at the beginning because yes. her second toe was bigger than the first one. Yes. So that's my fear. Yes. And I always been insecure right. because when we wa- no. when that movie came out, is that how your I'm feet is? A, I'm I'm about no. to tell you because Des is always like, oh my god, your feet are so weird, honey. My second toe is longer than my um big toe, and he yeah. it, just because he got like cartoon character feet. So let me tell you about I his know. feet. Like, his is feet. it like the? Yes, like, like the perfect so angle. Perfect. <laughs> Just because so you want to look at another somebody to draw are. your feet, don't right. talk about my feet. Exactly. <laughs> but my feet are still cute. Like I'm like, yes, it I took feel me like my feet years to be cute. like, you know what? I got cute feet. You do have yes. cute feet. Yes, yes. And so yes, you I do. Oh, thank you, boo. Yeah. But you have cute feet too. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. And I did a pedicure, and I posted it yesterday. My pedicure and um and I talked about how it took me so long to embrace Hold my on. feet. Is it still up? Because oh. I didn't see it. Um, it might. Wait, it might what? have. So look I'll at me trying to be me. online. Yeah, send it to me. Look at me trying yeah. to be online, but have on not a notification, child. Because I'm telling you, like my anxiety is so bad. Like I'll post yeah, something, mine too. and I'll, I don't have I'll my notifications. And, on yeah, I can't. I can't. I'm like, okay, if people like it, that's great. If not, that's great too. But mm-hmm. I don't need like a reminder or lack thereof if somebody like like the post because so, you're yeah, obsessed no about it. So I found that I'll show you guys. I don't know if you guys can. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh yes, cute. Oh. Yes. Okay. So it's like I don't know. Yes, I don't know I if see. you guys can see because my background I is blurry. But I see. But I also so, saw your feet, so I already know what they look like. But yes, yeah, they are cute. cute. They are cute. And I'm like, I don't <laughs> have my feet. I got two feet. But I did yeah. date somebody, and this this is a funny story. I dated somebody as a teenager who had a a foot fetish. Right? I was yeah. 16. He was 18. Yeah. Um, we had my mom consent, and no, we yeah. didn't have relations. So don't try yeah. to come come for my mama. But anyways. Oh, ain't nobody gonna come for her fetish. anyway. Like, if you right. for sure, they gotta come for me. And what about it? Right. And <laughs> so, it's a situation happened where we end up moving to the east side of town. At when we met, we were on the west side, so we, you know, yeah. stopped talking. And do you remember the chat line to call to call yes, in girl. the Cleveland? Oh, yes, well, girl. The oh, Raven. The Raven. <laughs> Oh, so one day, day, yes. So one day I'm on the chat line, I'm on the Raven, and you know, I'm just listening. I'm like, I don't want to yeah. join that room. I'm going to the next one, going to yeah. the next one. So then it, it also gave me the option to individually speak to somebody. So I'm yeah. like, okay, let me see what these guys talking about. And one of the callers was like, Yeah, my name is this, and you know, I what love you, this type of woman, and especially with pretty feet, you gotta have pretty feet. And I die laughing. So yeah. I reply, like, you could send a message, and I'm just yeah. like, Oh, hey. And I was saying their uh, government name. Yeah. And I was like, You just sound so handsome. And I just know you love pretty feet. And then he was like, How you know who I am? <laughs> It was so fun, and I played with him for like five minutes, and then I finally was like, "It's me." And then he was like, "Oh my gosh, I've been looking for you!" Like it was yeah, funny, but I'm like, "Your foot fetish gave you away." Because who right. did you have pretty feet? And I just yes. love like you yes. talked about feet so much. I was, and like we were kids, like you, like I guess you can't make money off of that because he was like obsessed. Yes, to me. With feet. And he was telling me, "Your feet are so pretty," and I'm like, "No, yeah. it's not." 
Cause, yeah. You know, <laughs> but now I'm like, dang, where he at? So he can tell me. Right. right like, 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 tell, me like, like, tell me how beautiful my feet is. <laughs> like, you know, right. I just need to hear it just a little bit. Just right. a little bit. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I oh, you're my like, God. okay, Sierra, where are you going with this? I'm sorry, y'all. No, I just I'm that tell just reminded y'all, me. This is our conversations. <laughs> like we hit right. so many points, and mm-hmm. just like just being on the phone or on Facetime, just like literally, just like having a good time and just laughing and talking. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it does feel so good because, like, you know, you kind of really don't have it. Like, you got life, you got kids, you got this, you got that. Like, whatever. You know what I mean? So it's always a good time, like when I can just sit back right. and like kind of forget about being a mom a little bit, kind of forget about being a wife and just yes. like a girlfriend. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and it's like a therapy session in between our therapy yeah. sessions. Yeah. You know, it we is. laugh, we cry, yes. we talk about yeah everything we encourage each other motivate yeah. each other you know yeah. we like uh-uh yeah. who said what who did what yeah oh, okay yep. yeah yeah <laughs> <You know? laughs> yes. so i love yes. it i love it and now it's we're just inviting you guys sisterhood. along on the ride yes mm-hmm. we want to like yes. open our sisterhood to y'all out there because like yes. one of the main reasons and you know cc she could tell you like her side of it but one of the main reasons why I really, really, really wanted to do this show was because, you know, I just kind of wanted to be a part of something where I feel like, you know, we as Black women can just kind of have an, a community like for ourselves and where we just sit back mm-hmm. and just keep the and, you know, just make it like a safe space or make it like a space yes, where, absolutely. you know what I mean? You can just sit and cut up yes. and not take yourself too seriously and just have fun. Because yes. that's all I want to do. I just want to have fun. Like, I'm always trying to, like, just laugh and talk and, and do this yes. and do that. Like, I just want to have fun. And it's so beautiful when you have somebody that, like, matches your energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I know I can be yes, a little bit is. much. I know. Oh, I, I love it. it. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> I thank you. I told the lady at the tattoo parlor, do people say yeah. that anymore? You know what? Place? I don't know because I, I I literally refer to them as tattoo parlors. Like, so I okay. have no idea. Yeah, I'm like, is that right? Do I sound dated? Because somebody told me yesterday I have, uh, I don't know, phrase a dated vocabulary. Yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. But <laughs> when we were at happened? the tattoo parlor, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the lady was like, oh, I just love her. Her personality, and she was talking oh, about yeah, you because right, yeah. you know you're so outgoing and stuff. And I'm like, oh. yeah, uh, we're like yin and yang, but we still complete each other, you know. Yes, I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know what? I'm that person where, like, out. Case in point, I had to run to the grocery store because I forgot cornmeal. I was going to make cornbread because, like, normally mm-hmm. when we do like cabbage and sausage, I'll do like cornbread on oh, the yeah. side. Or I like cornbread with it too. Oh, ooh, that's really so good. Essential ingredient. Yes. In yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I like cornbread <laughs> with my cabbage and with my greens. Yep, me too. Yeah. Me too. Same. Same. Mm-hmm. But so I'm at the store and there was like this little kid that was like walking down. He couldn't have been like any older than like three years old. And so like Mm -hmm. when I noticed him, because you know me, like, you know, never meet a stranger. Even if I walk past you, I'm going to smile at you, whether you smile or I'm always going to like, you know, just smile at you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so what happened was the little boy, he like runs past me. And as he's running past, I like smile at him. And then he like kept going. So then Mm -hmm. there was a gentleman and like, the um cart for like the grocery store you know like the motorized cart I think he had like because I saw a mm-hmm. knee brace I think he had like knee issues or whatever and so he's like he rolled up to me he's like oh so I take it that's not your kid and I was like no and I was like because immediately I was like mm, hold on what's going on right so I was like yeah. I was like I was like do you know him and he's like no he's like so he wanted to race with me and he's like and I was like okay fine so he said they raced down the aisle and he like came back he like ran somewhere came back and he's like I literally mm-hmm. was racing with this kid for like five minutes and I'm like without a parent in sight he's like no parent in sight so then when the kid was like mm-hmm. running back like up the aisle I was like hey buddy I was like hey buddy I'm like where's your mom where's your mom right and then 
like kind of ran to the like like because it was like the um so you know how it's like the it's like pantry sections but you're also um like the cooler section mm-hmm. is like on that side that's like the aisle that yeah like, we were in so he went back to like where the aisle goes like this way so if it's like this or sorry if it's like this he ran back yeah 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 section. He, like pointed he like pointed that way so i you know, just assumed that like that was his mom. But the gentleman and I, we stayed there and just kind of had like a conversation because we were just kind of like reminiscing on like when we were younger. And, um, Mm -hmm. you know, because I I told him I was like, you know, um, I'll be 42 this year. And of course, like it, it was so sweet and I get it. But I also... I'm not going to say like when people tell me that I look younger, like I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But I also get that. Like, I know I don't even look, you know, I, 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 oh I, I look gosh, like I'm in my 40s. I feel like I do. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I, I feel like, girl, remember when I was like all obsessed with like the elixirs and the wrinkle creams and mm-hmm. I bought like special <laughs> wrinkled makeup and all this mm-hmm. other stuff. Cause I'm like, mm-hmm. oh my God, my mm-hmm. face looks so old, you know, but no, when I did, I feel like that, you look like you're in your 30s, but okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you, boo. That that does mean a lot because so mm-hmm. I will definitely say this. You definitely keep us young, honey. Because <laughs> I remember Des and I, we were talking about it. And we were, this was like maybe two or three days ago. And we were talking about like, you know, like especially because you guys basically grew up together you know so Mm -hmm. we were talking about like the church and like growing up and doing all that stuff and then Mm -hmm. um because he's like trying to calculate in his head because he's like yeah cc is and then he goes he's like oh he's like i know she's younger than me so i'm just looking at him and he's like (laughs) i was like 34 34 Uh and don't get wrong again (laughs) you know he'll be 38 this year so yeah, I don't know, yeah. cradle robber. I I I I dabble and dabble oh, in the cradle from here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh goodness! I try to milk that little age. I try to milk it for as long as I can. Girl, I'm like, you listen to your elders. You respect me, <laughs> Mister Desmond. He'll pay you no attention. That's what I love no about this. He'd be like, no attention. Okay. <laughs> He's so nonchalant about everything. <laughs> so nonchalant about everything. As a matter of fact, um, mm-hmm. you know, today, like, you know, he thought like he needed to be like with me to like support me. And it was so funny too, because um when the when the, the well it's it when the situation happened, like he like came mm-hmm. in because the, he's like so protective and he's like, Okay, hold on, like yeah, no, 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 like what's going on? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's just yeah. him. Like he he either will make sure like I'm okay or or he calls me out on my bull. He'll call me out in a second. Mm-hmm. And he's like, mm, yep, yeah. no, you were wrong. This is that and the other. So and I need that because right. You know, um, you know, just being when you're when you have like relationships with people who don't mm-hmm. have your best interest at heart, like they tend to kind of like use it against you. Like, um, yeah. can, like the main example I can think of is like my ex, and that's a whole mm-hmm. other story because that situation, like, got right. like it was weird because it had nothing to do with me, but like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, I was just like. Yeah, and you know what? Psycho me, right? I'm still like, I hope you are thriving, ma'am. Absolutely. Yeah. I hope she's yeah. thriving. And I hope mm-hmm. she get away from blank, blank, blank. And I hope she me too. lives I a hope so fabulous too. life. I hope she lives me a too. fabulous life. Because she deserves me too. it. And I she hope doesn't so deserve too. what exactly. that person put on her. So yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But yeah, because I'm I'm very curious. I want to know. Oh, did the little boy find his mom? Like oh, you and so, the older gentleman were talking. Yeah, honestly, and I'm not gonna lie because I so I do this a lot too. So sometimes when I'm in public, I get overwhelmed just being in public. And mm-hmm, um mm-hmm. I don't know if this is the anxiety. I mean, maybe it's the anxiety. I'm not really, really, really yeah. too sure. But like so even in the middle, I do this sometimes too. Even in the middle of my conversation with the older mm-hmm. gentleman, I really don't want to admit this because it's only a few people that I'm so engaged with the entire time. So, but I kind of stopped listening like halfway through. And at this point, all I'm thinking of is like, 
I really want to get in the car and finish listening to Usher. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that <laughs> is me completely. So don't feel bad. And it may be a little social anxiety, but yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. don't feel bad because I actually, oh my gosh, I came across a post today and I shared it and I shared it in my yeah. close friends because I know that if I made a post, people would get offended because I yeah. have been this way with certain people. And I'm like, close friends. This is definitely a close friends post, but yeah. it says this, uh, like, um, it says small talk kills me, teach me something, teach me about your life experiences and the lessons you've learned, discuss psychology and your spiritual journey. Give me depth and authenticity. And I'm like, yes. And I put yes. on there like, absolutely. Because void conversation annoys me and I tune out quick yeah. like yes. extremely yeah. quick yeah. and my yes. responses be dry and boring yes. and I'm like oh yes. like, it's not engaging oh and then in my mind will go back to oh, okay this is for you this is for you yep. my number one yep. you know Usher song yeah. <laughs> like, yes. Yes. yeah so I get it I get it <laughs> yes and like I, I felt I felt kind of bad and even now like well not now but like when I do that mm -hmm. I do feel bad but I also can't mm -hmm. help it and it's like and you're right mm -hmm. I think it has absolutely to do with because like me when I'm having a conversation with someone I do want to learn because I, I feel mm -hmm. like there is an opportunity for a lesson in any experience that we we have in this life yes. right. And yes. I don't want to waste because my time is precious. I, I hope you feel like your time is precious. I don't right. want to waste precious time, you know, talking about something that doesn't fulfill me or something that, mm. um, like, and don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying like, oh, we got to have deep conversations, X, Y, Z. Because time, like, right. you, yeah. we, we'll sit, me and you, we'll sit and cut up and talk and just laugh. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about yeah. TV or whatever. But we also, right. in the same vein, we have very, very, very deep, in-depth conversations where mm -hmm. I'm still mm -hmm. learning from you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm oh, still same. Still learning same. from you, and I same. need that. I need that. If it's if it's mm -hmm. too, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If it's too like surface, or if we if we can't like connect on because so. I'm also the type of person I will tell you all my business because number one, I carry mm. no shame. I carry no shame. I was ashamed of mm. myself for too long and I refuse to be ashamed mm -hmm. of myself. So I carry no shame. I'll tell you my business. I don't care about that. But, mm -hmm. and I'm not even mm -hmm. saying like, if I get deep with you, you don't necessarily have to get deep. It's all about like personal right, comfortability. Right. But right. If, it, if after a while there's like nothing there, it's kind of almost like, you know, it, we we both aren't getting anything from it. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. So, right. And I, yeah. I don't want to sit up here and pretend like like I know everything because I don't. I don't want to sit up here and pretend like I, I'm same. perfect because I'm not. You know? Like, right, I same. literally fuck up every single day. I do. Oh, my I gosh. I up You and me day. both, girl. Everybody yeah. do. But, oh, my gosh. I, oof. Girl, listen. Yeah. I told somebody that yesterday because they can't. They kind of was like the way that they were wording how they were speaking to me was like they almost didn't want to disappoint me or like I'm like, wait a yeah. minute. Do you think I'm or something? Because I am far yeah. from it. Like you know, like I have had experiences in my life where if I told you, you were like what the hell? You yeah. know, why would you do that? You know, but yeah. in the thick of situations, you know, you you're not perfect. Nobody is perfect or anything. Absolutely. So yeah, I mess up every day too. So yeah, you know what? Speaking life, off. I do want to um, say this, like, because you just said, like, the person, like, when you were speaking to them, you felt like they didn't want to, like, offend you or hurt your feelings or anything. So mm -hmm, I kind of mm -hmm. had that same situation happen to me where I expressed myself to someone and they automatically thought that I had interior motives, which kind of sucks because it's like I always try to just be, like, open, honest. I don't beat around the bush. Mm -hmm. I don't tell. Listen, if... I don't care. Like, you'll know that I don't really rock with you if I, like, never give you advice. If you know what I'm saying? Right. But if I love right. you, especially, like, if I know I can help you with something, I'm like, oh, my. And I come mm -hmm. I come through with a lot of passion. 
And so yeah. it did hurt me, you know, to like hear that because yeah. it was just like, wow, like you don't know me. And mm-hmm. and it's okay. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I do it kind of goes back to like what we were saying earlier. Like you, people are in your life for different reasons and different seasons. Yeah. And different seasons. Yes. And regardless of like, you know how this plays out, or regardless of the outcome of it. I can honestly say that I don't have any regrets about the situation because I do feel like I was like, you know, just straight up transparent, honest. And I tried to kind of make a space that was safe for this individual to always like be open. And sometimes that just doesn't work. And but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I do kind of feel like it's okay. It is. It is okay. And before, oh my God. I would have been like stewing on it. I'd have been like like replaying it and everything. Yeah. And I do feel like right. super proud of myself because it's like, okay, you know what? Yay. Let's just move on. Like, let's just move on. And you yeah. know, whatever comes of it, comes of it. But as of right now, like I don't right. want to dwell in the negative of it I don't want to dwell in the um, miscommunication of it I don't want to dwell in the yeah not really knowing one another of it I just want to say hey you know what still glad that we were able to like have the camaraderie that we had you know what I mean right. still glad about it yes, that's totally. okay like so you know yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah I completely agree and I wanted to touch on something that you said when you 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 had mentioned that you tell all your business or whatever. This is something that I struggle with. Sometimes I will like, and it was like an introvert thing or like maybe I'm just not used to being social in public because I was shy and I was like really like, you know, quiet and timid for yeah. a long time, like all of my childhood and like most of my adulthood. And now I'm starting to open up and sometimes I'll feel like I'm oversharing and like, yeah, like I've done that. Too. I went to a hill and paint, and I was talking to somebody that I've known for half of my life. But yeah. afterwards, I'm like, mm, did I say too much? Like, you know, and then that it eat me up, like it ate me up yeah. on the ride home. I'm like, oh. even the next morning, I'm like making coffee, and I'm like, yeah. Dude, why did you go and tell that girl that? But yeah. then, like, I struggle with that. But then, in reality, she probably. I don't even care. <laughs> right. You and know I was that? really trying to just make conversation yes. and just yeah. like, you know, yeah. bond because I, I'm not good at awkwardness. I can't just be yeah. silent. So, yeah. Yeah. I just you know say, what? Were, you guys I me? definitely like resonate with that because I don't mm-hmm. like, like, you know, before, you know me, I, I cannot handle confrontation. Like, I just rather just not even deal with it. And lately yeah, I've noticed, you know what I mean? And lately I've noticed that I have been encompassing the strength to at least express myself. And mm. honestly, I feel like, because I, f- I feel like there is a lesson in every single day that we're up. And I feel like today's lesson, if I were to wrap up today, today's lesson will be keep being vulnerable keep being vulnerable, even if the person, even if not even the person, but like if you're open up to somebody or if they want to like use it against you or like, let's just say somebody in your past that you like, Mm -hmm. whatever the situation is for me, because I like, this is who I am at the core. Like I am vulnerable because I do want to connect with people and I do want to help people. So like, even if I feel like I share too much or if I, if I start to like, kind of like feel like that regret, I now, 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 now I'm learning like the last few weeks or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm learning like keep being vulnerable, keep being vulnerable. So if you ever feel like that, if you ever, Mm -hmm. ever, ever feel like that, just like remember that or something that resonates with you, because let's just say, let's just say what it is. It ain't like she was ever going to come back to you because she got to go through me. So whatever. <laughs> so I'm right. like, but thank you for that because <laughs> you're welcome. I, yeah, <laughs> I thank you for saying that though because I think our vulnerability brings authentic people. I have yeah. a quote on my IG that's been up there for since I started IG. Yeah. Like I don't know, 2015, 14. I opened that page. 
Yeah. But it says, um, oh my goodness, it was on the top of my head. You probably don't <laughs> know it. It says, <laughs> uh, surround yourself with positive souls and positive vibes come naturally. And unknown, because I don't know who said that. I got it off of Google. Yeah. But when I was like, oh my God. So that what you just said, like, I feel like when you're being vulnerable and authentic, real recognize real and people yeah. gravitate yeah. towards that yeah and it's like you know what you cool people yeah you know yep. and yep that that's how, how we build a community absolutely of absolutely just awesomeness yeah yeah absolutely mm -hmm. and i feel like i feel like one my computer we, froze but now i can hear you oh no that's okay girl i was just gonna say because we oh my god i still can't believe like if you look at the time it's almost two hours that literally felt like two minutes oh, oh <laughs> it goodness. literally like two minutes. isn't wow. that crazy that's insane because i just so happen to look yeah so on yeah. that oh. note Oh I God. do want to leave and, um, you know, if like, please let us know, like, if there's anything that you want to say, but I do want to make sure I leave with this. Like, I feel like Cece and I, like our mission, mm -hmm. like with this podcast is to like build that community and build a band of strong women who, you know, come together and just uplift each other because it is so easy to get yeah. caught up and bogged yes. down with like, life and you know what I mean just different elements of it and it's just it, it's unpredictable like we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring you know what I mean but what we do know is that tomorrow's not promised so I want to make sure that I live with an intention that is true to me and I know like I as long as yeah. I'm true to me as yes, long as I'm true to me, like everything absolutely. is good anything that kind of yeah. falls for or against or whatever, it kind of really doesn't matter because I know that like, I'm being true to myself. Yeah. And that's what I yes. want for like our community of sisters, like just a bunch of boss ass, like just real authentic, raw women. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness, I think you froze a little bit because I, I, I can see you smiling, but I can't hear you. And I was like, oh, like you know how when you, you think you did something sweet and yes. you like mic drop? Yeah, and it was like total not mic drop. <laughs> but I do know you were reacting Same. because I saw you smiling. <laughs> yes. Yes, girl. Yes. Well, do you have All the way you around. Want to say you to our, our to be successful and bossy and smart yes. and intelligent. Oh, oh no! You can, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we got you now. <laughs> say that again, boo. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Am I? Am I? Am I there now? Am I back now? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. I I think it's today, but I just want to say, just keep, keep being you and give yourself grace, grace. Yes. Yes. And I'm glad that you yes. said my intention with your intentions, be yes. intentional with loving yes. each other and be in the leave you beautiful. Yeah. Women. Yeah. Women with today. And I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes. No, that was awesome, Cece. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> looks like we wrapped up episode oh, two. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, listen, mm -hmm. it is always a pleasure Thanks. to sit and chat and like yeah. share these moments with you guys. Um, leave a chat if you guys ever have any. Yeah, it's a savvy ass holistic yeah. mom. Savvy as holistic moms. And if there's anything that you ever want us to talk about, or, you know, if you want to like reach out to us and if you had a question about anything, like just let us know. We'll keep it anonymous if you're if you're comfortable. Like just let us know. We 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 want to be here for you guys. So yeah. <laughs> All right. Sorry, you kind of froze again. So you know what, you know what that means? That means we should get off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no, 
what did we leave you? Oh no. Okay, so this is what I'm I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up because I feel like I feel like we lost Cece's mic, but I already know her and I know she's just giving you guys well wishes to like go on with yeah, your I'm like oh I'm there like, you are yeah and it's delayed, <laughs> but okay, good night everybody or good evening, yeah. good morning. <laughs> All of that. We love you guys so much, and we will definitely see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>